So the most important thing when it comes to recovery, and a big takeaway from today's presentation is, ultimately we want to have a good understanding of, of how's our body going and how we're going mentally. And if you're able to do that, if you've got good awareness of your body and mental awareness of how you're feeling from a mental emotional point of view, um, then you'll be able to make good decisions about how you can look after your future self, which is pretty important as an athlete. If we're only looking at those quick wins and, and things that feel good in the moment, um, that's where you might slip into some bad habits, where if you're focusing on what's going to better myself in the future, uh, mentally and physically, that's where you're going to prepare yourself for high performance on a regular basis. So, and I'll, I'll, I'll explain some technology that you can use to help develop body awareness. And that's where objective data like GPS, heart rate variability, heart rate, um, and uh, what else would be good? And your sleep, these, uh, tracking these things can be quite helpful to help you build your awareness. This is something that I did with the Box Hill boys. It's a nice motivator. Um, it's just a simple system and it's been done in other sporting teams before. Um, it's a 100 point recovery system and it just helps you understand what, what, what's most important because sometimes we can spend too much time and energy on the fancy things. Maybe the things we've seen on TV shows or Instagram or social media. Um, but at the end of the day, the most important things are your sleep making sure we're getting quality sleep for a minimum of eight hours. Um, we're getting plenty of calories from our food. So we're eating good food and we're getting, you know, at least three to four meals a day. And then from there, it really is up to the athlete on where they want to get the rest of their points for their uh, 100 points. So it might be a massage, bang, they've got 50. Could be a nap, there's the other 50 done. Like I said earlier, it's being able to know what does your body need and listening to that and also um, have an understanding of what works best for your body. So listing how do you feel before the recovery and then how do you feel after. Um, so that would be in a subjective way to measure how effective that recovery was. There's another thing, um, heart rate variability, which is basically every time we have a, a heartbeat, our beat hits a peak, then it comes back down and then hits another peak. And the time between those peak heartbeats is your heart rate variability. In terms of measuring tools, a smartwatch will also track your heart rate variability. And I have found, um, compared to, I've got the middle device that's called the Elite HRV. I have found both of them are really effective um, from a uh, physical and mental point of view in, in giving me feedback. So the readiness score that you can see in the middle there, that's just an out of 10 on how well you are ready to, to perform at a high level. Um, and then you'll have one end of the scale, sympathetic, and then you'll have parasympathetic. So sympathetic state is what, what we'll feel before a game day because we're highly alerted and aroused to perform. 